Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we will be dry cutting a salon friendly curly mullet haircut. You will learn how to master dry cutting techniques that will help you to create epic lived in texture and shape. We start the haircut taking horizontal sections above the ear and vertical sectioning behind the ear. Our cutting angle mirrors our section. We elevate our sections straight out from the head shape and point cut or club cut our first sections. We continue to take parallel sections. We direct our new guide slightly down to the previous using a low or no tension. We slightly over direct the sections behind the air back to the previous. Slowly increasing our length whilst activating texture and movement. We continued this process until we reached the curvature of the head, the parietal ridge, all the way back to the center of the occipital bone. I am using a wide tooth comb to minimize tension when taking sections. You will also see my scissors point cutting above my fingers instead of below. Gently holding the hair in place before cutting with no tension, allowing the hair to be cut in natural fall, maximizing curl, texture and movement, as these techniques avoid stretching the hair out of its natural state, as opposed to wet hair that is stretched with a fine tooth comb and then cut with high tension, manipulating the curl pattern and creating a completely different result. Once we reach the curvature of the head, the parietal ridge, all the way back to the occipital bone, this becomes our stationary guide for the top and back zones, where every new section is directed back, elevating slightly higher with every new section to continue maximizing texture and movement, maintaining maximum length in the top of the mullet haircut shape. We continue this process until we run out of hair leading up to the center part sectioning. So far we have started with a fingers width guide above the air and behind the air, taking parallel sections horizontally above and vertically behind the air directing every new section slightly back to the previous, using low tension to increase texture, length and movement as we work up the head shape, creating more length in the top and back zones of our mullet haircut. We now repeat the same process on the opposite side using my fingers width as my first guide to maintain balance. I also ensure that I'm standing in front of each section with my body position. This will also help to control balance throughout the haircut shape, maintaining an even shape once I've finished cutting each side. These dry cutting techniques can be used to, to cut all haircut shapes from bob haircuts, fro bobs, shags, layered haircuts, with face framing and bangs, pixies and mullets. It's not only amazing for curly hair textures, but also slightly wavy hair, or anyone that wants a more lived in textured end result. Let me know in the comments below if you cut curly hair and whether you have ever learnt how to dry cut curls and textured hair, hair textures. Shout out where you're watching from. I'd love to know who values my work and whilst you're at it and do me the biggest favor by liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate the support. This mullet haircut shape is perfect for the salon floor, creating a more elevated mullet by creating more length in the top 
and fringe zones with an amazing shape that connects the crown into the length in the nape zones. I have cut this shape on all ages and genders. It definitely suits a more fashion forward hipster clientele. If you would like to watch a more in-depth tutorial about dry cutting, be sure to watch my previous tutorial. You can find the link in the card above and also in the description below. You will learn how to dry cut a super edgy shag haircut. Whether the haircut is too edgy or the curls look too messy, there's a lot for you to learn and to unpack. Dry haircuts are also perfect for clients who like a more polished, perfectly styled curled result. The point of these tutorials is to help you build the confidence with edgy lived in textures as requests for these styles is only becoming more popular on the salon floor. Now we have completed the second side. I changed my body position to stand in front of my model. I gently point cut any excess length, maintaining a thick, longer fringe zone. Now moving on to the back zone, we take a horizontal section over the occipital bone. We find our guides from the lengths from either side zones. We now gently point cut a horizontal section that becomes our guide. We now elevate the whole nape zone up to this guide and point cut. This becomes our mullet length in the back crown leading down to the nape. We now cut the crown zone taking horizontal sections, directing our section forward before cutting our stationary guide. We now over direct the remaining sections up to this guide. The guide from the top of the crown becomes the guide for the top zone, point cutting a square line taking horizontal sections. I take diagonal sections over the curvature of the head and gently point my slicing scissors into the mid lengths and randomly throughout the section to create more blended texture and to refine my haircut shape. I continue this refining method in the top zone to complete this awesome curly mullet haircut. Let me know in the comments below if you have learned something new and if you're excited to try dry cutting. If you're a hair cutting geek like I am, you'd be crazy not to want to learn how to dry cut. It's an incredible tool that you can combine with your wet precision work. I use a light sea salt spray and the diffuse dryer to complete this mullet haircut. This is my take on a modern shaggy mullet haircut. If you liked this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to watch this one next.